Ross, but it's going to be Captain Dibble that's come through on the inside of Riverside Boy. Riverside Boy, who was uh, very fresh going down to the start, shares it with Anthony on the stand side and Captain Dibble in the red and green. Cool ground racing in the fourth place, and then we have Deep Bramble. And then on the inside is Flyers Nap. On the inside, that is Mr. Boston. Duva Silla way down the pack, second from the right as we look at them from this angle. And behind her, uh, Fighting Words and the Belmont captain. But it's Riverside Boy who leads, clear by two to three lengths to Captain Dibble in second. And then we have Cool Ground in third, Anthony in racing four, Deep Bramble five, Mr. Boston in six, and Duba Silva in seven, Flyers Nap, Fighting Words and Belmont captain. That's the order in this, the Anthony Mild May Peter Keslip Memorial Handicap Chase, in which they jump 24 fences and they come into the third of those 24 now and it's Riverside Boy that sees the initiative and gone clear by about five. Riverside Boy at home in the mud, Riverside Boy. And he has the edge. Riverside Boy comes to it at the third fence and uh, jumps it well. Oh, and Flyers nap per skid on the ground there and uh, certainly bit the turf, but he had, didn't lose that much ground nor that much momentum and a lot of uh, mileage left in the race to make up for that mistake. But any mistake in any race is costly and at this level it's very costly. Riverside Boy has the edge from Anthony in second and again a uh, bad mistake there by Flyers Nap, not jumping with any alacrity at all in last place. But the leader is, that's Riverside Boy, and uh, Flyers Nap better at that one. It's Riverside Boy who leads, Riverside Boy to Anthony and Cool Ground as they leap that ditch. Mr. Boston in four, and uh, then Deep Bramble and Captain Deb will shuffling down the pack, followed by Dubasilla fighting words, Flyers Nap, and the back marker is Bellman Captain. The leader is uh, Riverside Boy, Jamie Osborne putting the pace to the race as they come to the water jump for the first time. Gives it plenty of daylight and over safely enough. And again, at the rear of the field, Flyers nap a little bit awkward in the yellow and black colours there. Only one behind him, and that was Bellman Captain. Come down to these uh, three railway fences, and it's Riverside Boy from Antonin, and back in third place is Cool Ground. Flyers nap in the black and yellow check at the top of the picture comes towards uh, fence number nine at the rear of the field and uh, not jumping very well. Riverside Boy is there on the front end, Riverside Boy it is. Measured it well. They take the last on the far side. Bellman captain a little bit awkward. And Dubasilla is out of the picture now, the 5 to 2 favourite. Mr. Boston at 9 to 2. Flyers nap at 9 to 2. Deep Bramble 11 to 2. Captain Dibble 8 to 1. 14 to 1 bar. That bar price includes our leader, Riverside Boy. Anthony in the outside of Cool ground, a length and a half back to the black and white colours of Mr. Boston, then on the inside, Deep Bramble, followed by Fighting Words and Captain Dibble, and then we have Belmont Captain and Flyers Nap the inside. They're starting to bunch up as they come down to the pond fence. This is the 11th of the 24 they have to take. And it's Riverside Boy spearheading the field. Riverside Boy by a length to Cool Ground the inside. Riverside Boy, Cool Ground and Antonin, that's the one, two, three, and they've got two miles left to race. Riverside Boy it is, Anthony in the outside of Cool Ground, and then we have Mr. Boston and uh, Fighting Words close up, and uh, on the inside is Flyers Nap, on the right is Dubasillo in the dark blue colours, and she's last but one, Belmont captain last of all, having jumped the 13. Riverside Boy is a 16 to 1 chance, they come down towards what will be effectively the last next time round. This time they jump the ditch, and as they come to it, it's Riverside Boy and Mr. Boston who's coming to the race now. And with a circuit to go, the order. It's Riverside Boy and Mr. Boston 1-2. Cool ground showing third, Anthony in four. Deep Bramble's going well in five. Flyers nap the inside of Captain Dibble, then fighting words. Two lengths back to Dubasillo, who's only about six lengths off the pace, and Belmont captain a couple of lengths behind her. But all the horses in the picture there as they go past the enclosures and make their way towards fence number 14 of the 24. Riverside Boy then, Riverside Boy from Mr. Boston in second and on the inside is Cool Ground. And at this stage, Alistair, Dubasilla at the rear of the field and Dean Gallagher having a great run is going to have to conjure a big run from her to win. Just start, starting to give his old friend Dubasilla the old niggle as they went past the post first time. Deep Bramble running a very strong race looking to recover that top-class form showed in Ireland last year. And Riverside Boy, the classic pipe tactics in bad ground extreme distances, go out and try and make all. Deep Brown were going nicely enough. Dubasilla just been he's been niggled at by Dean Gallagher. Flyers Nap put those two mistakes behind him getting into the race on the rail.
and getting a great run through on the inside. They've got about a mile and a quarter to go. Still Riverside Boy and Mr. Boston and Cool Ground and Deep Bramble and Angeline and Flyers Nap and Captain Dibble and Dubacilla and Fighting Words and Belmont Captain. That's the first of the uh, seven they jump on this side of the track. Fighting Words is getting one or two reminders. So too, second from the right at the back is Captain Dibble. But it's Mr. Boston that's come through to share it now. Belmont Captain, a mistake there. And it's Mr. Boston that comes through to share it with Riverside Boy. This is the last inch they have to jump. Mr. Boston and Riverside Boy by three lengths uh, to Cool Ground and then three lengths back uh, to Antonin on the inside of Deep Bramble, who's getting closer. Next one they take is the water jump. It's the seventh from home, and it's Mr. Boston and Riverside Boy who leap it well. Um, Bellman Captain never got into the race. They've got these three island fences, and it's the black and white colours. Peter Niven on Mr. Boston, edging into a lead of half a length over Riverside Boy. Six from home. Mr. Boston gets a bit close to it. Riverside Boy. Cool grounds coming with a run. Deep Bramble. Don't rule out Dubacilla in the blue colours. Five from home, this. And it's uh, Mr. Boston and Riverside Boy from Cool Ground and River uh, Flyers nap the inside, Dubacilla and Deep Bramble, that's the fourth from home. Still no change up front and it's getting hot. It's Mr. Boston, the outside of Riverside Boy, and these are about six clear of Cool Ground back into third place. Then Dubacilla on the outside of Deep Bramble as they start the turn in. Then comes Flyers nap who looks cooked now at the top of the home run, come down towards the third last. Black and white, Mr. Boston. The blinkered runner is Riverside Boy and Jamie Osborne. Dubacilla getting closer. Cool Ground is running his best race for a very long time. Green colours, Deep Bramble. From the back, red colours, Fighting Words tries to get going. Black and yellow, Flyers Nap looks out of it. Here we come to the third last. Mr. Boston. Mr. Boston just has the edge, but only just. Thriller here. Riverside Boy, the inside, the favourite. Dubacilla has come storming through to take it up as they level up into the home run. They've got two to jump. And the favourite, the mayor, Dubacilla, has the edge now. Come down towards the second last. Dubacilla comes to it, and she jumps it well. Mr. Boston in second. Cool ground in third, and Riverside Boy and Deep Bramble is between these five. And Mr. Boston comes through the chair with Dubacilla. Here goes Deep Bramble in the green on the inside. This is the final and it's Mr. Boston, a terrific leap. Dubacilla, cool ground, Deep Bramble and Riverside Boy. And then none of them are going to be denied. Racing up the hill, and it's Deep Bramble going on from Mr. Boston. Deep Bramble digging deep. Deep Bramble has it from Mr. Boston. Riverside Boy is rallying, but at the line, Deep Bramble it is. Deep Bramble, Riverside Boy, Mr. Boston, cool ground. Dubacilla in fifth place, not more than three lengths off the base. A big gap then to Anthony, and behind that one, Bellman captain. Then came fighting words, Flyers nap couldn't cope with those mistakes, pulled up on the run-in, and Captain Dibble was last of all, 11-2 to two then, the result this of this, a real thriller here at Sandown for this Anthony Mildmay, Peter Caslip Memorial. You have to travel a long way to see a better race. Deep Bramble has won in the colours of Mr. Ford Barber, trained by Paul Nichols, back in sharing third place there as they jump to last, and it's a very close call for second place. But our winner is Deep Bramble, possibly just Riverside Boy second, possibly Mr. Boston third, leave it for the judge for the minor places, but Deep Bramble, an eight-year-old, relishing these conditions in this five-horse tussle to the line is the one that's prevailed under Chris Maud. A brave run from horse and jockey, but don't rule out the second, third, fourth and fifth. A great renewed run by Riverside Boy. Dubacilla had her chances, and Cool Ground is right back. And Mr Boston, a brave run for Mary Reevely. Terrific race. But there's our winner, Deep Bramble. Well, if you want to get people to come racing, the thing to do is to show them a video of this race, a classic Sandown Stain Chase. And here's Deep Bramble on the right, the green and white colours, and been going conspicuously well with the circuit to travel. Mr Boston just got a bit close into that. Deep Bramble's just hunting, hunting there, waiting to pick them up. Dubacilla coming into the race on the outside. She became, the further they went, the better she went. And you would think that, you know, Mr Boston just beginning to take the measure of Riverside Boy. But back in third cool ground for god goodness sake biggest comeback since lazarus been right out of form and run a blinding race here flyers nap the mistakes begin to tell on him mr boston and riverside boy still got the call cool ground in third and 
Chris Moore just sitting still on Deep Bramble, beginning to ask him now to go and pick up these two leaders who look to have got away. And Dubasilla begins to haul them in from her position on the outside. But in the end, the weight told, 12 stone, giving weight to all these. It's still a tremendous performance and a fair gold cup trial. And as they come to switch up here, Riverside Boy still going well enough. The pipe fitness telling Peter Niven still got reserves on Master Boston as well. But they're beginning to queue up behind. Flyer Snap is done with by now, and the check's going backwards on the rails. And you look to Dean Gallagher on the right to think, now, can he conjure something out of this mare and get the favourite home? But all the time, Chris Maud, the further they've gone, the better Deep Bramble has gone. This is a horse who's taken time to recover that Irish form. They jump the pond. Dubasilla's the quickest at it. And you think here that Dubasilla can go on and seize the race. Gallagher takes a little sneaking look at the others and sees some of them are in trouble. And you think here that the mayor is going to go and win the Caslip Mild May. But as always, everything changes up this sand downhill. Deep Bramble still just in fifth as they jump that one. But now the sticks are out. Cool ground is sticking on well. Dubasilla has gone at this stage. Master Boston and Niven, he must think, I can just get a jump here, I can seize this. Picks up well enough, but Deep Brambles cross well too. And here, Maud really gets to work and asks this horse to stay on up the hill. Riverside Boy stages a tremendous fight back on the far side. Dubasilla, the weight telling on the near side and cool ground running on. But Deep Bramble, this is a horse back to form from a yard coming to form, stays on to hold a renewed challenge of the pacemaker Riverside Boy. Classic Sandown staying chase. A 20 to 1 double for trainer Paul Nichols, who sent out what's in orbit to take the second race at Warwick. First number three, Deep Bramble, 11 to 2. Second number four, Riverside Boy, 16 to 1. And third number seven, Mr. Boston, 9 to 2. The favourite was number one, Dubasilla at 5 to 2, 10 round. Well, I deserve applause there. And 50% of that or more should be to Chris Maud, giving this horse a tremendous ride. Looked like being fifth of five jump in the pond fence. Well done, Paul Barr. He's been a great owner over the years. He stood by uh, Paul Nichols. And this horse, remember, bought to replace the ill-fated Seymour Indians from last year. And uh, a good all-round team effort. Anyway, if we're taking a short break. Got two more live